All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you just how rigged the English Premier League is and how they sync up professional sports because it's the Jesuits and the Masons that control and determine these outcomes, guys. So check this out. EPL, Brentford versus Chelsea. Yesterday, I did a code saying Chelsea would beat Brentford, and they did. They beat them 1-0 with a winning goal coming from Jesuit Ben Chilwell after 45 minutes. I'll be discussing this guy in detail later in the video. So I said if they win, they will be on 19 points after eight games. If we look at the Premier League table, they're now on 19 points after eight games. And 19 is the eighth prime. So Chelsea are on 19 points after eight games. 19 points after eight games. Look here as well, goals against three, like the sponsor. Goal difference 13, like 313. Jorge Mario Bergoglio became Pope Francis on March the 13th, like 3.13. It's all such a joke. Look how Chelsea are now four out of five in their last Premier League games. And this winning goal comes after 45 minutes. So it was first place against seventh place, like 17. And this was a London derby. And remember, Freemasonry was established in London, England in 1717. And Tuchel today got his 17th Premier League win as Chelsea head coach. How perfect. And 17 is the seventh prime. He gets his 17th Premier League win with Chelsea against seventh place Brentford. And if you want some more sevens, he stayed on seven draws with Chelsea and seven losses. What a joke. And if you look here, he now has 91 total points as Chelsea head coach. And when you type in the Society of Jesus, this guy's clearly a member of it. You get 91. And look here. Got his 91st point as head coach of Chelsea. This is all competitions. In his 42nd match. Again, how often do I discuss 42? Jesuit, 42. Freemason, 42. It's why the last World Cup final finished 4-2. Yes, between France and Croatia. France, the home of the Jesuits, won the World Cup. So I saw some connections with the San Francisco Giants and Dodgers game, the game five, because I told you they sync up professional sports and I've pretty much proven that now. So this year's MLB season will be the 117th World Series. This game today between Brentford and Chelsea was one month and 17 days after Tuchel's birthday. Like 117, like the 117th World Series. Tuchel, this guy was born August the 29th, as you can see here. And August the 29th, guys, was one month and 17 days before this game. So in game five, the ultimate game between the Dodgers and the Giants, if you look here, the Dodgers had eight hits and the Giants had six hits, like 86. And why is that significant? Because Chelsea have now played eight games and won six, like eight six. And look here with the 86. There were so many similarities here between this game between Brentford and Chelsea and the Giants versus Dodgers game. So Chelsea are now 6-1-1. Six, one, one. six wins, one draw, one loss. 6 one, one. Look what happened in the sixth inning between the Giants and the Dodgers. 6-1-1. In the sixth inning, both teams got one run. 6-1-1. 6-1-1. It's a joke. It truly is a joke. So Tuchel got his 28th win with Chelsea. That perfect number. And this was a perfect time for him to get it. Because 28, guys is the seventh triangular number. And like I said, he stays on seven draws and seven losses. He gets his 17th Premier League win with Chelsea, the seventh prime. 
28 is the sum of 56. And check this out. Look at the time between the birth dates of the Brentford head coach and Tuchel. Five weeks and six days, like 56, guys. Five weeks and six days, like 56. And Tuchel gets his 28th win with Chelsea, which is the sum of 56. And he gets that 28th win against 7th place Brentford. Guys, this is undeniable. So the Brentford coach, this guy here, Thomas Frank, from Denmark. Agent, elite consultant. Guys, agent. These people are agents, elite. They're members of the elite bloodlines. But look at this. He stayed on 269 points as Brentford head coach. 269. And that's really significant because 269 is the 57th prime number. And if we go to Tuchel, Tuchel picked up his 57th point with Chelsea in the Premier League. So... This guy here stays on 269 points. 269 is the 57th prime. And Tuchel gets his 57th point with Chelsea. This is undeniable stuff that I'm presenting to you here. Undeniable stuff. And if you want another connection, guys, between the Brentford and Chelsea game and the Giants and Dodgers game, look at this. The Brentford... Head coach was born on 10-9, like 109. Los Angeles gets you 109. This guy born 10-9, like 109. And the Giants ended the season with 109 wins. It is so rigged, guys. It is so completely rigged. Rigged. And the Dodgers, after beating the Giants in Game 5, now have 110 wins for the season. Okay, they ended the regular season on 106 wins. They beat the Cardinals, the one-off game, to make it 107. Then they got three wins against the Giants. So they're on 110. What a joke. And look how both of these coaches were born in 73. And Los Angeles Dodgers equals 73. But 73 is the 21st prime. And this game finished 2-1. And look at this, guys. San Francisco Giants, 2-3. They won two and lost three, like 23. The Brentford head coach was born on a day, leaving 83 days left in the year. And 83 is the 23rd prime. So it seems to me today that basically Brentford were the Giants... And Chelsea were the Dodgers. Dodgers won by one run. Chelsea win by one goal. It's just so rigged and connected. And it was the Brentford coaches' 157th all-time game with Brentford. 157. And guys, this is insane. 157, like Kobe Bryant, but 157 is the 37th prime. Los Angeles gets you 37. As does Chelsea. And look how this score can be seen as 1-2. And 37, guys, is the 12th prime. And in regards to Brentford and the 12, they stayed on 12 points for the season. And look at this. Goals against 7, goal difference 3, like 73. And Los Angeles dodges... It's just 73, and like I said, 73 is the 21st prime. Dodgers win that game 5-2-1. And the Brentford and Chelsea coach is both born in 73. So check this out. Chilwell scored the winning goal. I don't like this guy. I don't like him. I don't like Chilwell, Mason Mount, Jack Grealish, Phil Foden. There's something about them. Tammy Abraham, 
I definitely think they're part of a Masonic Brotherhood. I don't like them. So this guy, he keeps scoring now, this defender. He keeps scoring. So confirmation here again that Ben Chilwell scored the winning goal. It's the winning goal. He gets a clean sheet. Ben Chilwell, what a legend, eh? Him and Mason Mount, they really grind my gears, guys. I'm so inspired to do these videos to bring down people like this guy. So it says here, three. Ben Chilwell has scored in each of his last three Premier League games for Chelsea, as many as he had in his previous 33 appearances in the competition combined. Blast. Look how this was posted at 11.22, guys. 11 plus 22 gets you 33. And 11 and 22 and 33 are master numbers. This guy is a high-ranked mason or from a Masonic family. A very highly ranked Masonic family. So all those threes, guys. He's also got three goals in his last three games. Okay? So three goals in his last three Chelsea Premier League appearances, but also three goals in his last three games. He even recently scored, guys, for England. Against Andorra. Look how this game finished, 5-0. Watch my video about the Dodgers and the Giants and all the 50 connections. But look, Ben Chilwell opened the scoring after 17 minutes. The seventh prime, guys. And he was wearing the number three shirt for England. He also wore number three, guys, for Leicester. Where he won the Premier League with them. With a really mediocre team. Look, Black Lives Matter, this whole thing's a joke. They're all in on it, guys, at this level. They're all in on it. They sum up with this thumbs up as well. Keep an eye on this. I think it's stating that they're either part of a Masonic order or they're transgender with this thumbs up. You see them all putting this thumbs up. It means something, guys, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. But he wears number 21 now for Chelsea. Two plus one gets you three. What's Chelsea's sponsor? Three. They get sponsored by three and then go on to win the Champions League. And what was their third Champions League final appearance? To become 2-1-1 and one in Champions League finals. But I can't stand this guy. These people are frauds. They're going to go down. They're frauds, guys. So when was this game against Andorra? Oh, my word. It was on October the 9th, guys. Like 10-9. Like the head coach of Brentford was born on 10-9. Guys, what an absolute joke. And like I said, Chilwell scores after 17 minutes, the opening goal, which was his first goal for England. Freemasonry established in 1717 in England. 17, the seventh prime. I discussed all the sevens in regards to Tuchel. Undeniable sevens. Guys, you can't keep ignoring this. I still can't believe Leicester won the Premier League at 5,000 to 1 and very few people said anything. Just look at their squad. There has to be some sort of black magic as well. Black magic's real, guys. It's so real. It's so real. And how often do I talk about the woodwork being hit? Brentford hit the woodwork twice in this game. Look, and Bumo hit the post again in the second half. The same player hit the post twice. Look at Chilwell there with number three on his shirt. These people are frauds. They're jokers. They're sick human beings. They need bringing down. Look here, his third goal in three games for club and country. I'm so done with these people. This guy's definitely a Jesuit. People just keep falling for this. And look what Chilwell said. Three and three for me. It proved to be an important goal in the end. I'm happy with that. We showed our steel and how strong we are defensively. Be quiet. It's all rigged. It's all 
completely rigged. Number 16 had a huge game, by the way. Number 16 had a huge game. And Los Angeles, guys, gets you 53. 53 is the 16th prime. Do you want to know what else gets you 53? Chelsea. Chelsea gets you 53. The 16th prime. And arguably the man of the match was probably the goalkeeper, number 16. Unless they gave it to Chilwell. Don't know how they're doing this. I just have to believe it's magic. These players can't be perfecting these rituals. But I think the top players know how it's done. There it is. 19 points after 8 games. Oh, Gary Neville. If I could smack somebody in the face, it would be Gary Neville. Oh, wow. Look at this. Man of the match. Edward Mendy, six saves, yeah, six. His joint most in the Premier League game. 20th clean sheet in 38 Premier League appearances, guys. 38. So he wears number 16, and Chelsea is sponsored by three, like 163. And 163 is the 38th prime. This was his 38th Premier League appearance for Chelsea. And if you look here, his 20th clean sheet. When Chilwell scored for England, it was match day 7 of 10, like 71. And 71 is the 20th prime. What a joke. What a joke, guys. How many more videos do I need to keep doing? How many more videos? Look, off the post. So this guy hit the post twice. And there's no way players are good enough to hit the post twice and again. They're not going to say, hey, mate, today you're going to hit the post twice and again. The fine lines, guys. There has to be black magic. The numbers I'm presenting here are undeniable. There has to be black magic. And the top players and coaches and those who are members of the Masonic Order know how it all works. Like, this guy is dog dirt, Lukaku. I don't care about his goal-scoring record. He's dog dirt. People won't be able to accept it. Here's the stat that I found. All the threes. Ben Chilwell has scored in each of his last three Premier League games for Chelsea, as many as he had in his previous 33 appearances in the competition combined. Posted at 11.22, guys. Add up those numbers, 33. Remember, masonry... Gets you 33. As does England. And masonry was established in England. And look how England equals 57. And in this Masonic ritual, Tuchel got his 57th point in the Premier League as head coach of Chelsea. So, what a joke. What a joke. These players have to know. If I know, if I can see it, they have to know at the level that they're playing at. There has to be players who know what's going on. The coach is 100%. Again, the game was played at 5.30, like 53, like Chelsea gets you 53, guys. Los Angeles, 53. The 16th prime played on the 16th day of the month, and number 16 gets the man of the match. Guys, you need to join my Patreon. You need to learn this knowledge. Look how I have 208 Patreons as well, guys. Like 28. The perfect number. Tuchel got his 28th win as Chelsea head coach. And an incredibly rigged game. And as I always say, dismiss this knowledge at your peril.